Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, we will discuss the confidence interval for the difference between two population means. Okay, so ang formula guys na gagamitin natin to find the confidence interval for the two population mean is equals to this formula. Okay? Yun nga lang, uh, magagamit lang natin to guys if we assume that the two populations have equal but unknown population variances. Okay? So, equal yung kanilang variances dito. And at the same time, yung kanilang sample size is parehas less than 30. Okay? So, ngayon, yung ating uh, critical value is may degrees of freedom which is equals to n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus 2. Okay, so since uh, we have two groups, so ibig sabihin may dalawa tayong sample size. Okay, then yung SP, dito sa ating confidence interval, yan yung ating pooled sample standard deviation, which is equals to this formula. Nakuha guys? So, our confidence interval guys can also be written as the first sample mean minus second sample mean minus E again yung E that is our margin of error then dun sa ating upper confidence interval we have the first sample mean minus the second sample mean plus the margin of error okay where margin of error is equal to the critical value times the pooled sample standard deviation times the square root of 1 over n sub 1 plus 1 over n sub 2. Nakuha guys? So let's have our first example. A group of 15 students was taught using a new method of teaching math, while the second group of 12 students was taught using the traditional of teaching math. So at the end of the grading period, the same examination was given to each group so, the 15 students who were taught using a new method made an average of 88 with a standard deviation of 8. And the 12 students who were taught using the traditional method made an average of 80 with a standard deviation of 5. So, find the 95% confidence interval for the difference between the population means. Assume that the population is approximately normally distributed with equal variances. Okay? So, dito guys, uh, pinapagawa sa atin yung confidence interval for the difference between the two population means. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito guys is we need to write the given information. So, kung mapansin nyo, we have two populations dito na pinag-uusapan. So, unahin natin yung ating first population. Okay, so dito yung 15 students na tinuruan gamit yung new method of teaching mathematics. Okay, so ang ating first um, sample is equal to 15. Since sabi dito, meron tayong 15 students na tinuruan ng new method. Okay, then we have an average of 88. Yan yung ating sample size with standard deviation of 8. Nakuha guys? So next, dun tayo sa ating uh, pangalawang population. So dito we have 12 students na tinuruan ng traditional method. So that is our N sub 2. Then ang average daw nila is equals to 80. Okay, y yan yung ating X bar sub 2, yung second sample mean. With standard deviation of 5. Okay, so that is our S sub 2. Nakuha guys? So ngayon, after natin ma-identify yung ating mga given information, ang next step natin is to get the degrees of freedom. Okay, which is equals to N sub 1 plus N sub 2 minus 2, which is equals to N sub 1, so that is 15 Yung ating n sub 2 is equals to 12 minus 2, 
So therefore, yung ating degrees of freedom is equals to 15 plus 12 minus 2. So that is equals to 25. Okay? So next is identify natin yung ating alpha. So dito guys, ang pinapagawa is the 95% confidence interval. So that means na yung ating alpha is equals to 5% or in decimal that is 0.05. Tama? So, pag dinivide natin yan by 2, okay, so ang alpha over 2 natin in 1 tail is equal to 0 0.025. Okay? So, ngayon, kung meron na tayong alpha over 2 and degree of freedom, ibig sabihin, pwede na nating makuha guys yung ating critical value at alpha over 2, which is 0 0.025. Okay? Okay? Where degrees of freedom is equals to 25. So, gagamitin natin guys yung ating um, t-table. So, ang ating uh, degrees of freedom is equals to 25. Andito yun guys. Then, we have 0 0.025 yung ating alpha over 2. So, pag kinonect natin yan guys. So, makikita nyo dito guys na yung ating critical value is equals to 2.060. Tama? So, balik tayo ngayon din sa ating formula. Again, our critical value is equals to 2.060. Okay? So, next kunin natin guys yung ating SP. Ito yung ating pooled uh, sample standard division which is equals to the square root of um, n sub 1 minus 1 times yung ating var variance plus um, n sub 2 minus 1 yung ating second variance all over um, n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus 2. Okay, so substitute natin guys yung ating mga given. So we have the square root of <coughs> n sub 1 which is 15. Dito yun guys. Ito. Minus 1 times yung ating variance. So since uh, ang given is yung standard deviation, so i-square na lang natin yan. Tama? So, that is standard deviation square. So, yun na yung ating variance. Plus n sub 2 which is 12 minus 1. Then, yung variance natin. So, since given yung standard deviation, so, i-square na lang natin yan. Nakuha guys? All over n minus n sub 1 which is 15 plus n sub 2, so we have 12 minus 2. Okay? So, pag sinolve natin yan guys, using our calculator, so lalabas doon na yung ating SP is equals to 6.84. Okay? So, ngayon guys, kung meron na tayong SP and yung ating critical value, we have 2.060, yung ating critical value. Then, SP natin, 6.84. So, ibig sabihin, pwede na nating masolve, guys, yung ating margin of error. Tama? Which is equivalent to the critical value times SP times the 1 over N sub 1 plus 1 over N sub 2. Okay, so ang ating critical value, we have 2.060 times SP, which is 6.84, times the square root of 1 over N sub 1, yung ating first sample, which is 15, then plus 1 over N sub 2, yung ating second sample size, which is 12. So, pag sinolve natin to guys, so lalabas dyan na yung ating margin of error is equals to 5.46. Okay, so nakuha ba guys? So, kung meron na tayong margin of error, pwede na natin makuha yung confidence interval between the two population means. 
Okay, so kung tandaan niyo yung ating formula doon, we have the uh, first sample mean minus the second sample mean minus E. Then this sa may ating upper confidence interval, we have the first sample mean minus the second sample mean plus E. Okay, so substitute natin. Ang ating first sample mean, we have 88 dito sa ating given. Ito yun, guys. Then, ang ating second sample mean is 80. Okay? So, substitute natin. We have 88 minus second sample mean, which is 80 minus E. That is 5.46. Okay? Then, sa ating upper interval or up, upper confidence interval, we have 88 minus 80 plus E, which is 5.46. Okay, so ngayon, ito na ngayon yung ating um, confidence interval between the two population means, which is between 2.54 and 13.46. Okay, so ang tawag dito, ito yung ating 95% confidence interval for the difference between the two population means. Okay, so we're in yung ating 2.54, that is our uh, lower confidence interval. And yung 13.46, that is our upper confidence interval. Okay? So this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo guys yung ating topic. So if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!